Hello everyone, Deb Floros for Art Beads. I am crazy mad in love with this ceramic peacock bead by Damiana Studio. The detail is unbelievable and it needs to be a focal for a bracelet. I grabbed some complimentary beads, so I'm bringing out the colors in that ceramic bead. I've got some fossil coral round beads, some saturated metallic lapis blue color trends check glass, some Toho seed beads in yellow and in a plated silver, and I grabbed some knotted cord that's metallic. I cut four pieces of that cording, and they're all the same size, about a foot and a half. You won't need that much, but I wanted to make sure that I actually had the right amount. I checked to make sure all four strands would go through the bead, and then I grabbed my 19 strand beading wire. I cut a shorter piece of that, but I combined that with the knotted cord, and I put all five cords, or the, the beading wire and the cords, through the center of my bead. And I'm going to actually bead onto the 19 strand beading wire, but I'm going to tie knots at either end of that ceramic bead with the knotted cord. You're gonna push those knots nice and tight up into the holes on the lentil bead. Then I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to take a bead stopper and put it at the end of the bead holding the rest of the cord out in place. And I'm gonna start stringing onto one side of the beading wire. And I'm starting with a series of seed beads so that it doesn't conflict with the knot that's there. Then I'm just putting a pattern of beads using the seed beads, the different colors of the seed beads, the small beads, the larger beads, and I'm repeating the pattern on the other side. Then I'm pushing my workspace clear and I'm grabbing a lobster claw clasp. I'm going to add that with a crimp to one end of the bracelet. Then I'm going to use a closed ring and I'm going to crimp that onto the other side to attach my lobster claw to. So that's going to be the closure for the bracelet. So I'm crimping that on, being careful not to get my seed beads at the end. And then I've got these cords and I decided, I know it's kind of wild and crazy, but I decided to make that a little bit of an accent. Now this is a peacock bead, so I'm creating sort of a feather effect with the pieces of this knotted cord. This knotted cord is a little bit stiff, so it will hold its shape, and I think they kind of look like feathers, I don't know. I just thought that they would make a nice frame for that beautiful bead, and now you've got this incredible statement bracelet. I did dip the ends of the cord into some GS Hypo cement, and I ended up cutting them a little bit shorter than it is here, you'll see quite dramatic on my wrist, but I did cut them down, make them a little bit shorter, but I love the way it came out. You can find everything to make this fun and fabulous and unique bracelet at artbeads.com. Thank you so much for watching.